Jakob and his team are deep in the jungle. Less than a kilometer from where the hobbit was unearthed. At the village of Rampasasa. Could these people be the hobbit's living descendants? Jakob needs to find out more about them. We want to observe the features of the face and then the stature of the individual is measured from here. The question is whether these people share any features with the hobbit. The research begins. One meter fifty eight. One meter forty seven. One meter forty three. The villagers of Rampasasa seem unusually short, but not as short as the Hobbit. 154. Then, a commotion in the village announces the arrival of a distinguished local, the village elder. Johannes Dach stopped counting his years a long time ago, but he's rumored to be older than 100. He has come along to be measured. At 1 meter 33, Johannes is especially short. So short that he qualifies as a rare type of human, a pygmy. Jakob sees this as tantalizing evidence. It makes him a pygmy. It proves that uh, we also uh, have uh, uh, pygmies not far away from the cave. Jaco believes that Johannes's height proves that he is a descendant of the tiny hobbit who once lived nearby at Liangbua Cave. Johannes might be very close to the skeleton of Liangbua. You see the legs are short and also the arms. He has no chin. The only thing he has known is microcephaly. Although Johannes is a foot taller than the hobbit, if he had microcephaly, Jakob suspects he would be just as tiny and have her exceptionally small brain. Pygmies are small, but they have modern brain size, just like a six-foot Dane or, or a, uh, a five-foot two uh, Italian. But if one of these pygmies is microcephalic, then of course we'll have the hobbit. It would make it very easy if you started off with a population of individuals that are uh, one meter 25 and you have a microcephalic individual it ends up a metre high with a tiny brain, so it fits beautifully. <laughs> 